But yeah, there was a lot of action this past weekend, Brandon. I don't know if you watched boxing. I know a lot of fighters say, I don't watch a whole lot of boxing, but did you watch some of the fights this weekend? Yeah, so I definitely did uh, tune in. I watched uh, Pandora and Lulu okay. fight. Cause I, I even, you know, uh, I said my piece about what I thought, how the fight was going to go. It wound up going how I said it, did. Yeah, yeah. it was going to go. Uh, it was a lot of tests that they were going to have to overcome. Pandora can't overcame all the tests that I said that, you know, like as far as uh, the experience and everything. I'm happy for him because, like I said, you know, he's a California native. I hey, am as yeah. well, so I was rooting for him. Uh, it was a real tough fight. Uh, from what I heard, Lubin didn't have any ice in his corner, mm. but they didn't use any inswell or something like that. Now, I don't okay. know, but that's why they didn't get the swelling down. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's why the fight probably went the way that it did. Who knows? But yeah, yeah. you can't take away anything from uh, any credit away from Fundora. He fought his butt off. He fought real hard. You know, he showed up. Yeah. And the other guys who were fighting at 54, uh, Tony, Tony he had his fight. He looked good. He looked good yeah. coming back. That was his comeback fight. He had fought in a while. Uh, boxing, you know, uh, 154 is still popping. It's still, it's you know, and uh, I'm still one of the top guys. <laughs> so it's, it's super dope. It's super dope to be in that because, you know, we still have Jamel and Castano fight coming up as well. Yeah. And I'm, I'm interested in all of those guys. I'm interested in being in the ring with all of them because they're all the top guys. And I yeah. want to fight all of the top guys at 154. Hey, like you said, that 154 is open. Uh, Harrison came back with the win. He uh, defeated Spain's, uh, you know, Sergio. Um, uh, what did you think of that fight? I don't know if you saw the highlights a little bit. I know. So, I've mm -hmm. I, I, I seen a little bit of the fight, honestly. Uh, it was more so the highlights. I, I felt like what Tony was trying to do, in my opinion, Tony was trying to shake off a lot of rust. He didn't want to, he didn't want to expose too much, and it, it was a lot of stuff that he didn't have to change because yeah. it was working for him. The movement and everything, mm -hmm. it was working for him. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was gonna get him to win the fight. You know, it was gonna get him to victory. And I felt like he wanted to do enough just to get the victory and yeah. move forward and shake off the fact that he hasn't fought in a while. And yeah. That's what he did, in my opinion. That's what I thought I was looking at when I was watching the fight. Yeah, obviously Harrison is in a kind of in the same. You know, he's trying to get back to a title shot. He, his biggest win was against Jermel. Uh -huh. You know, and then he lost that. You know, that title the second time coming. Um, is that maybe is that a fight that interests you, a Harrison or a Sergio, or do you want do you want the Fundoras? The, the... I, I want everybody, man. I, okay. I I don't shy with them. I think you know. I think the the world of all of those guys. But at the same time, you know, I think the world of myself. I think I'm a world beater, so yeah. you know, I would love to get in the ring and fight them. Uh, Tony, I, re I respect all of them. Mm -hmm. I respect all of them, man. Uh, I had an opportunity to talk to uh, Tony's brother, LJ. They asked for me to come down to the camp due to, you know, I got a lot going on. Yeah. I got three kids. I'm an, I adopted one. Uh, I, I got a lot going on. Yeah. So uh, I, I didn't get the opportunity to go down there and help him for his camp. But when I say no, man, like, uh, I, I'm, I'm always active, and if it's close enough, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll definitely help it and, and, and get whomever else is in shape because it's getting me in shape. I'm yeah. able to push the top fighters. I'm sure you're gonna ask me about the, you know, the sparring that I'm over here doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, you know, we'll get to that. We'll yeah, get to that. Yeah, I'm saying after these messages. <laughs> uh, on the on the topic of, of Fundora and Lubin, um, was there anything that you saw that you're like, okay, obviously you saw the Fundora getting dropped? Did yeah, you say I, like? I saw a whole lot. I saw a lot of things that I'm very capable of doing. A lot of things that I'm, I'm uh, that I'm strong at doing. That I'm a little more superior at doing. Uh, that I, I felt Lubin could have done. He could have took a more advantage of. Uh, I don't know what the game plan was, but it was moments where I saw flashes and flares of a game plan that looked like it was working. Yeah. And then every so often he'd get away from it. And every time he did get away from it. For him to get back into doing what he was supposed to do or what he needed to do, it was probably hard for him to do so because how, of how tall Fondora is, yeah. and him being southpaw, and him, you know, uh, Lubin likes to kind of stand up on that back leg, mm -hmm. stand up tall mm -hmm. at an upright guard. Sometimes, you know, uh, I think that definitely worked in Fondora's favor because once that happens, because Fondora is so big, he's such a big body, yeah. and then Lubin kind of leans down just a little bit, uppercut, see yeah, he's yeah. there. And that's what he was, you know, acceptable for. And uh, Fondora, just a lot of the punches Fondora was throwing. I, I just know I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty good counter puncher. And uh, I'm known for bringing the fight to people. I'm <clears throat> 154. I'm probably not the tallest guy, but I'm definitely 
the, like one of the strongest guys in this division, physically and uh, and uh, punching wise. Yeah. So I, I definitely think that I have what it takes to beat any of, and all of the guys that's at, in the top five and the top ten. It's just a matter of time for it to happen, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Terrence Crawford went on Twitter and, and uh, he he gave his little opinion. He said, uh. Hey, when there's like a cheat code, I don't know if you saw that. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you agree with that or not? No, it's funny because on Fight Night you do create your players. Fight Night is yeah. actually how I got my my, my name. Okay. The cannon. Okay. Uh, well, Big Tiger, uh, it was when he used to say you could create your name and put the cannon and he just the cannon. So I was like, yo, that's me. Okay. And then later on, I found out Shannon the Cannon Briggs' name was that. I didn't know it at first. Okay. Uh, I thought I was the only one, right? <laughs> but. Uh, he is. He definitely is like one of those characters you will create mm -hmm. and you make him extremely tall or fight yeah. at a certain weight. But, you know, the thing about it is even in fight night, it, uh, it, it's pros and cons. Mm -hmm. The pros and cons is because he's so big and the way he's built, he can't be as athletic as he might want to be. Mm -hmm. He can't be snapping him real quick and real yeah. fast and that's just natural. You know, unless, you know, he, he got something in his repertoire that he haven't showed yet. But uh, the explosive kind of fighters, those guys who's explosive, strong and fast, and, and, and you like utilize their legs and, and know how to fight on the inside, them might be the guys that he have a lot of trouble fighting. But yeah. so right now, they haven't put him up against one of those kind of guys. Lubin was the closest kind of guy, but yeah. Lubin likes to stand up and fight. Lubin yeah. likes to not use the fact that he's a shorter guy. He likes to walk people down. And when you're walking people down, you don't walk them down short. He walks them down kind of at an upright stance. So there was a lot of things that he was just, you know, all of those habits. If they were to ever fight again, he would have to break those habits. Yeah. And they were habits that I don't kind of do. I don't kind of walk up. I don't yeah. walk at an upright stand. I kind of always stay low. Yeah. And uh, that's my bread and butter, the fact that, you know, I, I know that I'm not tall and, and I wouldn't pretend to be. Uh, I'm gonna use every gift that, that was blessed upon me and my height is one of them, so I'm gonna take advantage of that.